we have to be concerned or or studying to show ourselves approved unto God. You know, Paul wrote to the church in Rome and said, so then each one of us will give an account of himself to God. Romans 14, 12. We are going to stand before the Lord. We're going to give account for the things that we've done. And we can't fool him because he searches our heart and he knows whether we're giving 100% or not. You might want to write that down. You can't fool, fool God. God. No, you cannot. Because that's the truth. All right? Now, now, there is a reward, okay? Because it says in Revelation 22, 12, Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to render to every man according to what he's done. So the question is, are you doing it for the reward? Because there is yet a better way. We should be seeking the approval of God because of love. That's it. That's what it's about, right? That's why we're supposed to be doing it, because of our love for him. That's why we're doing it. Not not for the reward. Yes, there's a reward. But I pray you're not doing it for the reward. But you're doing it out of love. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. He didn't say, well, you'll, you'll get rewards. You know what I mean? It has to be about love. Because that's what Christianity is all about. It's about love. How can you forget what Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 13? That great treatise on love. If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels... But to not have love, I become a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all the mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith so as to remove mountains, but to not have love, I'm nothing. And if I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and I surrender my body to be burned, but to not have love, it profits me nothing. And then he goes on a few verses later and says, But now faith, hope, love abide these three. But the greatest of these is love. You do things because you love somebody, right? And the reward is is the reaction. The reward is yeah. The reward is the rea yeah. The reward is because you desire to please them. Right, everyone. exactly. It just brought to mind when when I was a little chilling, as you used to yeah, say. Chilling, yeah. <laughs> I we had to iron, which I hated to do, but my job I had to iron my father's shirts, and I loved doing that. Because of when he would he come home, look in his closet and see all his iron shirts, his reaction was just to die for it. I mean, yeah, that's it great. So yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, we, we've started and run a couple of schools, Christian schools. And we found really, I mean, that's that's what truly motivates children in school was the 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 love of the teachers back and forth, or the teachers for them. Because that the, gained the response they wanted. They wanted to please the teachers. Right, right. You know, it says, "As a man sows, so shall he reap." When you put out the love, that's that love you'll get in return. Right. And we don't. You don't want to be ashamed, all right. But if you if you are doing it as unto the Lord, you'll never have to be ashamed. But you know, when I when I was praying this today, something came to my mind, and you'll probably recognize this right away. If you know the account of Oscar Schindler, mm. you may have seen the movie Schindler's List about this man in Germany right. who saved so many Jewish people. Okay. And at the end, he was literally buying them. He was paying off Germans to get, get these this. people transferred into his factory. And he was doing that to save their lives. Right. Right. And one of the closing scenes in the movie is after the war is over, and the, the Nazis have been defeated, and these people are being released from the uh, death camps. But it's, now it's becoming totally apparent how horrible the death camps were. And he said, if I could only save one more. And he, say, he, he says, if I sold my ring, maybe I could have said. And he's right? weeping. And he's yeah. literally yeah. weeping. But you want to know something? When he stands before God, he'll never have to be ashamed. Mm. Never have to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the other guy said that was with him? He said, that's enough. You did, did enough. Well, it's it's good to get the approval of men, but I'm telling you what. Your goal needs to be the approval of God, because there is nothing greater than that. All I ever really wanted, Lord, was to be with you.